Right. Example two says differentiate the function we have there, which is y equals sine of x squared. Um, so I'm going to use the chain rule because the inside is more than just an x. Okay. If it was just y equals sine of x, you could use your rules from section 2.3 and just take the derivative of sine. However, it's more than just an x on the inside. It's an x squared. Okay. So that's a good hint that we need to do our chain rule. So what I would do first is maybe think about who's the outside and who's the inside. Inside is always the easiest to find, um, and that would be x squared. And then we would write the derivative of the, or sorry, and then we'd write down the outside, which would be sine of x. So once again, if you do the composition of these two, you should get back to your original. So if I take the x squared and plug it in for x, I should go back to my original function. Now I'm going to take my derivative. Okay, so the derivative of sine, if you remember from 3.3, is cosine. And then derivative of x squared is 2x. Now in order to do the chain rule, my y prime is equal to the derivative of my outside right here with the original inside put back in. And then you multiply by whatever we got here, the derivative of my inside. So it is cosine of x squared times 2x. And for this one, the last thing I would do is just go ahead and put the 2x in front. So it's 2x cosine of x squared. Okay. You cannot multiply the x squared and the 2x because it's cosine of x squared. This is, an, this is inside your function of cosine. So you cannot multiply those two. Okay. So there is my derivative for example two. All right, example three. This one tricks, tricks you guys a little bit, okay? Um, always rewrite it. This is really saying we have sine of x, all of sine of x being raised to the second power, okay? So I'm gonna stop writing out the out and in. We're just gonna identify it by looking at the function. So first of all, my inside function is right here. So there's my inside. Then your outside is being raised to the second power. So that's your outside. So our chain rule, the derivative of it would be the derivative of our outside, okay? So the outside is really like an x squared. So you bring your two down in front with your original inside, okay? And it'd be raised to the first power, okay? So bring your two down, two minus one gives you one. That's why it's the first power, okay? And then I have to multiply by the derivative of my inside. That's the last thing. So what is the derivative of sine? It is cosine of x. And then I would just go ahead. I would have two sine of x times cosine of x. There is my derivative for example three. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys pause and try example four on your own. Hopefully you took a second and paused. Um, let's first of all go ahead and figure out well what's your outside what's your inside. I always like to look for my inside first. This is on the inside of cosine so there's my inside and then my outside is the cosine. Okay. So what we do is we take the derivative of my outside. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay. If you guys remember um, from 3.3, derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then derivative of negative sine is cosine. Kind of makes this nice, sorry, negative cosine. Makes this nice little rotation. And then derivative of negative cosine would be sine. Okay. So our derivative of cosine or outside is negative sine with the original inside put back in. So I have 7x cubed plus 8. So that's this part right here. Derivative of my outside with my original inside times the derivative of my inside. Um, derivative would be 21x squared, and then the derivative of 8 is 0. Okay. And then I would just rewrite. We have a negative times this 21x squared, so y prime equals negative 21x squared sine of 7x to the third plus 8. If you got that one on your own, nice job.